Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out another video of mine. We are once again standing in front of the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump. This is a 12,000 BTU heat pump air conditioner that is able to run 100% off grid as long as the sun's out. As you can see, we have it tied up to the pergola here to 1200 watts of solar, tucked out of sight, and we're just losing our last little sliver of sun for the day. Sun's going down over the roof line, it's about 7.30 p.m. And now this air conditioner has to transfer from DC input to AC input. So. It's been running all day, like I said, we've got a nice little puddle of condensation down here, um, doing a great job keeping the house cool. But now we need to come up with a solution to keep this thing running uh, after sunlight hours. So if you're fully off grid, that's where things get a little bit interesting. As you can see, we're pulling about 400 watts. The indoor temperature is 71 degrees and we are set for 72. So it's just maintaining, it's running at a fairly low stage. Um, and this is where you can get a little bit creative with these things. So that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in. We have a very nice package sent out by Blue Eddy and I'm gonna show you that now. So for those of you not already familiar with this, this is the Blue Eddy AC200P. This is one of their larger portable power stations. Now I've already unboxed this. I've been playing around with it. This thing is an absolute beast. Out of the box, you get this nice little welcome card with the manual. You have a little carrying bag for all your charge cables. Included is the MC4 adapters for pretty much any solar panel. You have this aviation cable that goes to an XT90 for solar input. You have your 12 volt car charger and there's a number of other cables you can get for this to uh, get a little bit creative so i'm going to go over some of the specs on this thing if you're not familiar and i'll show you uh, how to use it so this model has a 2000 watt inverter that is capable of up to 4800 watt surge it has a 2000 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery good for 3500 cycles to 80 percent meaning after 3500 cycles that battery will still give you 80 percent of its original capacity which is really impressive um, it's got a ton of settings in here you can check your dc output your ac output you can see pretty much anything you can think of you can check your battery um, it's got it all basically it'll tell you anything you want to know it'll log all the fault codes if you have any issues it'll tell you the fault code and kind of what to check um, you can turn the inverter off right here That'll send power to the six AC outputs. These are your standard 120 volt North American uh, receptacles. They have nice little dust covers on them, pretty standard. You also have these two USB-A outputs. You have a 60 watt USB-C fast charge output. You have these two 12 volt outputs here. You also have a cigarette, uh, 12 volt cigarette output. And then this is a 25 amp DC output. You could wire this to like a little cabin or a van for DC loads. Down here we have our AC charging input and our DC input for solar or um, car charging. Uh, up top here we have the wireless charge pads. You can set your phone on top of this. It'll charge at 15 watts. Have a cooling fan on this side. Um, yeah, I'm going to hook this thing up, put it on the uh, mini split, see how long we can run it for here after hours, and uh, I think it's going to do pretty well. This guy is pretty heavy at 60 pounds. That's uh, mostly the battery, that lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry is obviously pretty heavy and it packs a ton of punch. So 60 pounds, I think it's worth it to be a little on the heavy side for all the power you get. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the mini split. Um, this is how I've got it wired right now. I have this outdoor receptacle wired into my in-house inverter battery system so I can run the mini split on battery backup. I just have this extension cord wired to the outdoor disconnect so I can kind of switch things around for different testing, different videos. So. We'll plug it in, let it come up to speed, and then we'll have a look at it. I also just want to mention it's about a quarter to eight on the Blue Eddy's clock. We're at 100%. Uh, just keep that in mind for the sake of the test. Okay, so the AC's been running for about five minutes. We're doing 500 watts right now as it gets up to speed. Everything's kind of leveling out. You can see we've got a nice 120 volts, 4.2 amps, 504 watts at 60 hertz. So... We'll go take a quick peek at the AC. Everything sounds good so far, and then I'll check back in with you in about an hour. Looks like it's already ramped down to about 400 watts in the time it took me to walk over here. Just gonna go confirm that on the Blue Eddy, and then we'll just let it run. Yeah, pretty close to 400 watts, about a 15 watt discrepancy, so We'll let it run for a while. I'll keep checking back in with you guys about every hour. Okay, we're at the one hour mark. AC is running nicely. I think it's starting to ramp down. The outdoor temperature is cooling off a little bit. As you can see, we're sitting at 72 degrees in the house. I've had the main AC set for 75 today and it hasn't had to kick on at all. So 
Heat pump's doing good. I'll take you outside and show you the Blue Eddy. Looks like this guy's pretty invested in how it performs. He's been hanging around for a little while. So we just hit 79% at the one hour mark. We have used 20% capacity, so that's pretty good. It was ramped up to 500 for a little bit there at the start. So at that rate, we should be close to five hours total runtime, which is very impressive for one of these. Um, I don't usually run it that long after sunset. The temperature usually cools off enough. I shut this down by around 9 p.m. So, so far so good. Supervisor's keeping an eye on me once again. I think she'd like to get a piece of that rabbit, but as you can see, everything's running normally. AC's chugging along nice and quiet, so we'll let it go for another couple hours and I'll keep you posted. Look at this guy with a huge mouth full of grass. I don't know about rabbits around you guys, but these rabbits are not scared of people whatsoever. They just hang out. You can get probably within two, three feet of them. They don't seem to mind. All right, it's 8.45. We'll check back in at 9.45. Okay, we're right at the two hour mark. AC is still running well. You can see the indoor temperature is now 69 degrees. So the compressor has ramped down. It's only pulling 320 watts. Um, check the state of charge here. We're at 60% at two hours. So right about 20% an hour, but the compressor is starting to slow down a little bit now as it's cooled off outside. It doesn't have to work quite as hard. So. Uh, we might get a little more time out of this than I thought. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys the Blue Eddy on the thermal camera here. This is another camera I had sent out from Top Don. This is the TC001. Uh, just plugs into the phone. It's a nice little compact thermal camera. As you can see, not real hot. Hottest spot over here is about 82 degrees. You can see the deck's cooled right off at 65. Everything looks pretty good. Little hot spot here on the cooling fan. What does that say? 100, and, well, 100 degrees, 105 coming out of the cooling fan. Looks like maybe a, a heat sink in there, so throwing off some heat. So everything's doing well at the two hour mark. Okay, well, it looks like we got a little while to go. Uh, we'll let this thing run another hour and we'll check back in. Okay, guys, we're right at the three hour mark. It's downright freezing over here. The house is at 69 degrees. Uh, compressor has ramped right down to 220, obviously because it doesn't have to work as hard anymore. Things are cooling off. So um, yeah, we'll go check the state of the charge. I think we're gonna be looking okay. I honestly might have to call this one early. I've gotta be at work for 7 a.m. tomorrow and I don't know if I can do another two, three hours of this. Yeah, 45% charge after three hours, and the way the compressors ramp down, I honestly think we'd get another three hours out of this. Now, I know these reserve a little bit of battery power towards the end to uh, protect the battery and stuff like that, but this thing's doing so well. It's not hot, it's just chugging along. So if you were fully off-grid, you had this style heat pump, solar through the day, blue eddy overnight, you'd be more than comfortable. This would get you past midnight, you'd be long asleep, and uh, it's a pretty good application. So. I'm going to take this into the garage. We'll wrap it up. I'm going to do a quick torture test on this thing for you, show you what it can do. I'll give you some final thoughts and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, we're back in the garage. I've got a couple of loads set up on the AC200. I've got my little battery charger here for the RC car. Uh, I've got my phone sitting on the wireless charge pad. Let that charge up a little bit. I've got this Milwaukee light tower. It doesn't pull a ton of power, but it's a little bit sensitive. It's an LED, so I just wanna see how that does. And we've got a 1500 watt heat gun. So there is 750 on low and 1500 on high. We'll turn this on. Um, I just wanna see if the LED is flickering or doing anything weird while all that stuff is running. We'll let this run maybe five, 10 minutes. Obviously I know it can do it. It's a 2000 watt uh, inverter, but I just want to see how it does. Okay, it's been running for a few minutes, no issues so far. Uh, I can hear the cooling fans on the Blue Eddy are running, so I'm going to take another quick peek at it with the thermal camera. 
like everything's doing all right. That's probably not a smart place to point a heat gun at a pile of cardboard. But everything's doing pretty good. Uh, cord's a little warm. That charger looks a little bit warm, but overall the Blue Eddy doesn't look overly hot. I'm going to check the fan side. Looks like we're doing about 105 once again after a few minutes. I, like I said, the fans are running a little bit higher now, but everything's doing fine. All right, guys, well, after all that, we're still at 40% battery remaining. So this is obviously a pretty impressive little product. Like I said, this is the AC200P. So huge thank you to Blue Eddy for sending this out. I was uh, pretty amazed when they agreed to work with a little, little YouTuber like myself. So um, yeah, if you're interested, definitely check them out. There's going to be a link down below as well as a discount code. So go check out Blue Eddy. Tell them I sent you. This is the thermal camera I was using. Like I said, this is the Top Don TC001. Plugs into a Samsung phone. It's super nice and compact. Uh, if you have an iPhone, it's the TC002. So don't get them mixed up. They are not interchangeable. So once again, huge thanks to Blue Eddy for sending this out. I have a couple more video ideas involving this thing, so keep an eye out for them. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.